Action. So we are here at Asana, and we are here with... Janiel. Janiel, uh, what do you do here at Asana? I am an inbound sales development rep. Inbound sales development rep, love it. Uh, have you always been an inbound sales development rep? What did you What did you do before this? Previous to this, I was a workplace ambassador at LinkedIn. Workplace ambassador at LinkedIn. So, how did you end up here at Asana? Like, you wanted to be at Asana when you when you grew up? Didn't know of an Asana when I grew up. Um, I came where the money reside, but. <laughs> I also needed help to get here. So I decided in December of 2021 to pivot into sales, into tech sales specifically, and was plugged with this nice little nonprofit organization in Chicago, Rework Training. Y'all heard of him? Mm hmm. Who helped me because I was about 40 interviews deep and just not landing anything. Wait, you, you went through 40 interviews? 40? 40. And you got you got you got told no 40 times? Got told no 40 times. Had the transferable skills? That's a lot of no's. That's a lot of no's. Well, that's a lot of interviews. That's a lot of interviews and a lot of no's. Yeah, that's a lot of no's. But as soon as I, you know, teamed up with y'all and y'all got me together, I had an interview. No, I was actually signing. I had an interview. Two days later, and I actually signed on the dotted line a week after that. Bang, 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 bang. So what did and you... And had multiple... Wait, wait, wait. Don't... And had multiple offers. Multiple offers. So, so what did you learn? So you went through 40 interviews, 40 nerves. Like, what was the difference? What did you learn that really, like, set it off for you? Oh, so many things. Let's start with what I learned from the info session with Shelton Banks. That's me. Be the true you. Put yourself first. Let folks know your strengths and your weaknesses, but also have a growth mindset. Mm. Present that growth mindset at the forefront. Learn that in the info session. And baby. Mm. You, you authentic right now. Let, let's talk about this drip right now. What you want? Can y'all get her shoes now? Can y'all what what get her shoes? Can y'all get her shirt real quick? Like y'all y'all see this authenticity authenticity. At his finest. Oh. Yeah, so yeah, I had a. You guys helped me get a few offers there. Oh, you're a rework. Oh, you're a rework. Cool. That little that badge on my LinkedIn profile gave me numbers in my inbox. Let's go. Let's go. They Asana reached out to me. So. Let's go. And I signed on the dotted line a week later. <sighs> One week. And here I am getting a promotion as of tomorrow. D. So if you have to tell somebody that look like you that's out there that don't think she can do it and it's 40 interviews in, if you had to tell her something, what would you tell her? Whew. 40 interviews in, I would tell them to keep going. Utilize your resources, women especially. Utilize all of your resources. Reach out, ask for help because those resources can help you in big ways that you can't even imagine. Love it, love it. So to end this interview, can you just tell the people out there to get this work? Please get this work via rework. Y'all, y'all heard her. Don't go to big. <laughs> don't, don't, love don't it. do that. Don't spend. A, my coworkers came through big. <laughs> don't. They gonna be paying till they die. All right. Well, so you said don't spend money don't to get. Spend money to get money. We ain't there yet. We not there yet. I love that she said that. So I'm not, I'm a firm believer of like that you have to invest in yourself and a hundred percent understand that sometimes that investment will cost you money monetarily. However, it kills me when I see businesses pop up and they either are teaching a knockoff of the Sandler method, a knockoff of the challenger method, or some type of uh, sales enablement. A process and they're charging anywhere between five hundred to thirty five thousand dollars to do it, and still folks aren't getting jobs from it. It's like she said, she has coworkers that literally went through and will be paying an income share agreement for a long time, versus she got this this knowledge for free. Which I think that kind of how it should be. Yup. Yeah. Ain't say no more. <laughs>